Well, <clears throat> certainly happy to, with us fighting back and making it a game. Disappointed that we uh, made a lot of mistakes that end up costing us a one-run game. You know, when it's eight to one, if you're making mistakes, you're not really thinking. All of a sudden, boom, it's a one-run game. Oh, okay, we we did this, this, and this. Geez, if you don't do that, all of a sudden you're going home as the winner. Um, so never like losing at all. Uh, but I did tell the guys I'm proud of them for fighting. You know, at the end of the day, they scored six runs in one inning, and it just, you know, you can't do that, give up a big inning like that. Um, and uh, made a few errors, you know, bunt right back to our pitcher, easy play. For some reason, gets on, out of control, falls down, ends up, instead of being one out, man on second, and ends up being first and second out, and that's all in this fifth inning, you know. Um, we made a mistake in the outfield, not getting around a ball and fielding it cleanly, which let a guy score all the way on a – should be in a single. The runner at first scored, went all the way around to home, and the hitter gets the second. So that's – I know they gave him one error, but really that's a lot of errors. That's allowing the guy to score from first base and the hitter get the second. So, you know, disappointed in that. But, uh, you know, I thought Mari threw great. Uh, I thought some of the guys in the back end threw okay, you know, not for the most part, Cook and Mantia. But um, fell, fell too far behind and just a little too much for us to catch up. <clears throat> last, uh, you know, the, the last two innings is pretty, you know, from a game that it seemed like you were totally out of it, you know, to a uh, major thriller, you know, a lot of home runs. Yeah, um, you know, it's, I didn't ask uh, one of the guys there, did we get any leadoff hitters on the entire game? And they said, yeah, one, uh, Terrell, who hit that line drive to right field, which ended up being just a single. Um, and I'm sitting there saying, geez, we, got, we haven't really getting, didn't get any base runners on. We swung the bat well early. We hit a lot of balls hard. almost felt like I told them that, that FAU game that we lost midweek game a, w a little ways back, that we were just hitting balls all over the place, but they are just right at them. And we were. We were hitting balls on them. You can't ask for any more than that. You're hitting line drives, but they just happen to be right at guys early on in the game. But we weren't getting anybody on. And then sure enough, we got a leadoff guy on in the eighth. And we scored four runs. And we got a leadoff guy in the ninth. And we scored two runs. We just we just couldn't get anything going earlier on the game. But, yeah, no, I mean, those were big home runs. It was, you know, great to see Q, who's not had a lot of opportunities, had a lot of opportunities to uh, swing the bat. And uh, to come in and do that is pretty impressive. And uh, I'm sure, you know. All his teammates are very happy for him because everybody pulls for that guy, being a catcher and down there in the bullpen all the time. And, you know, it's been tough to get him into play. So certainly I was proud of him to be able to come in and do that. And, of course, Gil hit a big one and Gates hit a big one. That, that we've been fortunate. We've hit a lot of home runs this year. I was going to say, what went into the decision to pitch at Isaac in that spot? I just thought he was better in the situation. Uh, the scouting report on the guy was the guy had good velocity. And Q has, you know, the other day we brought him in, to, to, in the game and he hit a, you know, hit the ball hard. So, um, yeah, that I just thought he gave us a better chance. And, uh, of course, I wasn't expecting him to hit a home run, but, you know, we just needed base runners. Uh, we wanted to bring the tying run to the plate. Well, we did more than that. We had the winning run at second base. Obviously, the last two season midweek games have been an issue, and obviously the last one tonight. When you look back, 10-3 and three in midweek games, what's your biggest takeaway? Well, we've come to play. I mean, we didn't not come to play today. It was only one game all year that I can think of we didn't show up to play in terms of focus, mentally ready to play, and that was Columbia. And I tell them that every game when we play a midweek game, don't forget about Columbia. So, no, you know, I, the guys, again, the mindset's good. They're ready, they're ready to play. Again, we came out swinging the bat. I thought we were good. Mari threw excellent, the best I think I've seen him throw in a while, which was great. So the tone of the game got set good. You know, we, we felt like six runs. We gave up six runs in that one inning. You just you can't do that. Bottom line is you can't do that. We, we and we we almost did overcome it. But um, but yeah, the team. You know, I'm pr proud of the fact that we have done a good job. Those midweek games have been huge because, again, I think everybody knows the last couple of years we were not good in midweek games. And boy, we were just on the bubble, not getting into the NCAA tournament basically because not because of our ACC record. It was because of our overall record, and a lot of it had to do with the losing record or not playing good in midweek games.
Coach, your upcoming schedule, you have a ACC opponent this weekend, and tonight's life, not lost stings pretty bad. How important is it for the team to move forward to focus on that? Yeah, I told them I'm upset right now, and uh, uh, nobody should be happy when you lose, period. But it'll be over with by tomorrow, and we'll move on and be ready for Wake Forest. And we know these next two series are huge. Got to play well in the ACC. Tonight didn't end our season. Uh, it's disappointing because we lost, and of course we had a chance there at the end. But again, we did a good job of making it a chance at the end. But no, no, no. We turned the page and move on. This is baseball. We got to get ready to play in <laughs> two days. So, you know, we got to be ready for Wake Forest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay.